Next up is click checking. So we have a lot of stuff to go through here. There are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 vulnerabilities in web applications. And not only that, we can actually, that I'm really looking forward to look into. So we have cross-site scripting and I'm just seeing now that we have another one uh, which is dedicated to reflective XSS and another one to DOM-based XSS. So interesting. Well, I think that what I'm most excited about is, I believe, broken access controls, information leakage. What else? Um, let's see. Toxic dependencies, lack security settings. Logging and monitoring insecure design, prototype pollution, and mass assignment. So, these are the ones that I'm most excited about. But let's just take one step at a time. We're only at 13% here, and today we're gonna start with click jacking attacks. And uh, in the next video, we're going to look into defenses and also do the quiz. So, let's, let's start with the exercises. An application, uh, as an application author, you need to be sure your users aren't having their clicks stolen by attackers. So one of the reasons why click jacking was so prevalent a couple of years ago was because of actually having social media impact, like making others like something in the background without their own knowledge. So that was uh, that was a serious issue that had a lot of financial implications not only financial mostly financial implications uh, behind it click jacking is a method of tricking website users into clicking on a harmful link by disguising the link as something else imagine you are the owner of the leading kitten video site on the internet and you find yourself hosting the most clickable kitten video the world has ever seen so www.kittens.com vacuum revenge watch this um, kitty get revenge on a vacuum i don't like cats on a vacuum cleaner in the cutest way possible so that was just a parenthesis so let's actually click this again whatever let's move on this makes you a pretty good target for hackers wanting to steal clicks okay suppose your site lives at kittens.com unless you have implemented protective measures a hacker could build their own site with very similar URL and include your site in an iframe okay that's um, that's what content security policies or CSPs or user types more recently from Google are for. All right, so in this case, we see the website and over here, your website is enclosed in an iframe. So you have, uh, you define a style, of course, the iframe iframe source which is in the body of the HTML and that's it pretty simple next the attacker adds a transparent div on top of the iframe with a higher Z index so in this situation we have a div for the iframe over here with I mean, actually, it's over here with a div with a Z index 100. Let's see what this is all about and wraps that div in a link tag. So that actual div is wrapped around in a link tag. Okay. So we see that it actually links to Facebook, uh, Facebook's sharing feature and it would actually share a fake website. Now, a user who wants to view your video can be tricked into performing any action the attacker intends, even potentially harmful ones like downloading malware or being taken to online scams. So, pretty serious. As far as the browser knows, the user has legitimately chosen to click on the hacker link 
As a result, the browser will go ahead and perform whatever action is sitting behind that link. Go ahead and click on the incredible cat video and see what happens. So we click on that, we're actually sharing something on Facebook, on our own Facebook, if we're logged in. All right. Luckily, click jacking is easy to defend against. Let's see how. And that is actually the subject of the next video. So protecting your users against click jacking.